Okay, so this is Pi News episode 18, and I'm starting this video with Fido S uh, because Fido S, uh, if you installed it with my video, uh, so this a month ago now, how to install Fido S and the Google Play Store, it will still be working all right, but it won't get any updates. Uh, and on the Fido S Innovation to Channel, uh, there's a tutorial there to get over the air updates. Um, and there's some process you have to do, plug in an external drive, it copies the OS to the external drive, uh, and then after that you will get updates in the normal way that Chromebooks get updates. So that's worth doing if you plan to keep using Fido S. I've been really impressed with the system, um, I really like the Play Store, the functionality on it is excellent. Next up, another update uh, on one of my favorite operating systems, so this is MX Linux. And Jerry Bond contacted me to say that uh, the final has come out, so it's 210220 is out now, uh, and he's the lead for this project. What you want to do is click on this SourceForge link, and that will take you to this page, uh, MX Linux. And if you, there is a way of patching it, you can uh, update the version you've got, but I'm going to download the new system, so I'm just going to click on that, download that, and write that to an SSD drive, so 2.2 gigabytes. Next up was this 3D scanned Raspberry Pi, not really news, but I just thought it was interesting and it just looks really cool the way it's spinning around. So it's Thomas OpenScan who's done these uh, 3D scans and uh, this was just interesting as well. Look, close up a 3D scanned Raspberry Pi, why is it possible to see the printed silk screen in the mesh? So the CE symbol is actually showing up as well and the Raspberry is just incredibly detailed. Next up, Lin by Lin has uh, managed to connect a Raspberry Pi Pico to a Game Boy Color, and it looks like the intention is to play, so it's allow you to load ROMs onto a micro SD and play them on the Game Boy. Hopefully having issues with syncing clock speeds between the Game Boy and the Pi, but that's my goal. And last up, I've covered Grimwood builds on an older version of Raspberry Pi News, I can't remember which one, but uh, he makes some great little laptops out of Raspberry Pis, and if we scrub across this here, so this is a Raspberry Pi Zero W, it has a backlit keyboard, you can see there's a trackpad there as well, it's got a headphone socket on the front and it's got a 360 hinge, let me see if I can show you a picture of that, I won't play the video but obviously I'll link the video so you can have a look at it yourself, uh, but the 3D hinge means that you can fold it back on itself and as it's a touchscreen device you can use it with just the touchscreen. There you go, there's the hinge folded back. And there's also an LED charge indicator on the battery. It's all battery powered. Uh, really interesting project. Definitely worth subscribing to Grimwood Builds. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.